Well, let me tell you, you know, um, I can tell you where we are and what happened with Scott Brown, but I'd rather say that we got 59 senators and an overwhelming majority of House members and a Democratic president. Why? I don't think we should be dispirited or discouraged. We need to get motivated. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact is, is that, you know, health care is one of the more personal things in a person's life, which means you have leverage to scare them, right? I mean, what's scarier than being hooked up to a bunch of uh, uh, tubes and stuff in the hospital, right? That's scary, whether it's you or a loved one. So it's, they're, they're, so they have used that situation to scare people. They still poll like they want health care reform, and yet they voted him in. Is maybe that a result of the fear you talk about? It's a fear thing, but here's the deal. You know, uh, I think that there have been problems. I mean, look, this whole economic crisis is rooted in the foreclosure crisis and in subprime lending. Yet, the United States Congress, including the House and Senate together, have yet to put a bill on the president's desk to address predatory lending. Can you imagine that? I mean, it's almost inconceivable. But it's true. It's because moneyed interests who like the status quo won't, won't, uh, won't relent. And we've got to just muster but with their the big Wall Street guys are giving out bonuses and big time compensation. And we're bailing them out because of their impact on the whole economy. But we've yet to deliver any real reform for ordinary citizens, all, other than the credit card reform, which is good, and some other things like that. But, you know, everybody was slow to the game. And Where do you wish to do that in this, re well, in this respect? Well, I, I want to pass a uh, consumer financial protection agency that will make uh, financial products uh, the same, uh, put them in the same category as a toaster. If I, can, if I can sell you a toaster that blows up one out of four times, uh, and I can't because that's illegal, because the Consumer Product Safety Board would not tolerate that, why should I be able to sell you a mortgage that blows your financial world up one out of four times you sell it? Do you understand my point? It seems like corporations are quite empowered these days with the Supreme Court ruling this week. It yeah, seems like pour more money in. And uh, they're just going to exacerbate the deep tensions in our economy. And, you know, and I'm going to tell you this, you know, we got to understand, in 1937, the conservatives in the Roosevelt administration convinced him to, do, do a, to stop spending government money. And, and we had a recession within a depression, hmm. which lengthened the entire uh, bad experience uh, in America. We can't, uh, we got to fight back these people who want to continue the drive to cut government spending, give more bonuses, not regulate anybody. These are the kind of things we've got to stand up and oppose. So, I don't know where, Representative Waters should be here. Thanks. And I know she's on her way. But anytime, you know, we, uh, this is my favorite subject, so we can talk about this stuff anytime.